How to calculate mass defect and binding energy. Atoms are almost as old as time. They got their energy from the Big Bang about 13.7 billion years ago. Sometime in the first three minutes of the Big Bang, all the basic stuff that atoms are made of was created. Scientists hypothesized that the temperature at the time of the Big Bang reached 10 to the 32 Kelvin. It was so hot that things had to cool for about 300,000 years before atoms could form. Finally, it cooled down enough so that a proton could capture an electron and form hydrogen. Some hydrogen nuclei fused together to form helium, and a scattering of other kinds of atoms, none heavier than lithium. Even now, after star furnaces have produced heavier elements for eons, hydrogen still makes up about 75% of the universe's atoms. Helium comprises about 24%, and all the other atoms make up the remaining 1%. Where is this energy today, this 10 to the 32 Kelvin of energy? Some of it is released in phase changes and chemical changes, but these are nothing compared to the energy housed in the nucleus of an atom. That's the energy that can do this. The nuclear energy released from the fusion of one mole, 1.01 grams of hydrogen one atoms, is equivalent to the thermal energy released from burning nearly 5,283.4 gallons of gasoline. It's the energy that fuels the sun, which, although 93 million miles away from us, is so powerful that we need to protect ourselves from its damaging effects. Where is this energy located? And how do we access it? Let's try to find it by calculating mass, more specifically, the mass defect. The mass of a proton is 1.00728 atomic mass units. The mass of a neutron is 1.00866 atomic mass units. A carbon atom has six protons and six neutrons. What is its mass? 6 times 1.00728 AMU plus 6 times 1.00866 AMU equals 12.09564 AMU. Therefore, the mass of 6 protons and 6 neutrons is 12.09564 AMU. However, one atom of carbon-12, which contains exactly 6 protons and 6 neutrons, has a mass of exactly 12 AMU. We calculate the mass of six protons plus six neutrons to be 12.09564 atomic mass units, but the mass of carbon-12, which is made up of six protons plus six neutrons, is only 12 AMU. The difference between these two masses is called the mass defect, which in this case is 0 0.09564 AMU. The mass defect refers to the phenomenon that the mass of any nucleus is less than the sum of the individual masses of its protons and neutrons. In other words, sticking protons and neutrons together somehow causes some of their mass to vanish into thin air. But there's more. Remember that Albert Einstein showed that mass and energy are really two different forms of the same thing in his monumental equation E equals mc squared. So where does this vanishing mass go? It becomes energy and can be calculated using the equation E equals mc squared. The energy equivalent of the mass defect is called the binding energy. So let's calculate how much binding energy we get out of our mass defect of 0 0.09564 AMU. We'll use the equation E equals mc squared, where E equals energy, m equals mass, and c squared is equal to the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, squared. Our conversion factor is that 1 AMU is equivalent to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. We multiply our mass defect, 0 0.09564 AMUs, by 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms per AMU 
to get a mass defect in kilograms of 1.59 times 10 to the negative 28 kilograms. Now we can plug our values into E equals mc squared. m is equal to 1.59 times 10 to the negative 28 kilograms, and the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, which we square. The binding energy, or energy equivalent of the mass defect, is 1.43 times 10 to the negative 11 kilogram meters squared per second squared, which is equal to joules per atom. So that's how much energy is released per carbon atom. Per mole of carbon atoms, we would multiply this number by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole and get a binding energy of 8.61 times 10 to the 12 joules per mole, which is about 1.5 million times more energy than burning a mole of gasoline. In other words, creating a mole of carbon atoms by fusing together six protons and six neutrons releases 1.5 million times more energy than burning a mole of gasoline. And recall that a mole of carbon atoms is only about 12 grams, which is approximately the mass of two nickels. I've referred so far to the binding energy as the energy equivalent of the mass defect. Its more official definition is the amount of energy released when protons and neutrons are bound together in the nucleus of an atom. Let's do a sample problem. Calculate the mass defect for chlorine-35, whose mass is 34.9689 AMUs. One proton is equal to 1.0073 AMU, one neutron is equal to 1.0087 AMU, one electron equals 0 0.00055 AMU, and one AMU is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. Chlorine-35 consists of 17 protons and 18 neutrons. 17 protons, each with a mass of 1.0073 atomic mass units, is equal to a total of 17.124 atomic mass units. 18 neutrons, each with a mass of 1.0087 AMUs, has a total mass of 18.157 AMUs. We also have 17 electrons, but 17 electrons, each with a mass of 0 0.00055 AMU, doesn't even work out to be a hundredth of an AMU, so their mass is negligible. Totaling the mass of protons with the mass of neutrons, we get a combined mass of particles as 35.281 AMUs. We know, however, that the mass of chlorine-35 is equal to 34.9689 AMU, which is 0 0.3121 AMU less than the mass of the sum of its nucleons. Therefore, the mass defect is 0 0.3121 AMU. We convert that mass to kilograms by multiplying by the conversion factor 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms per AMU, which becomes 5.18 times 10 to the negative 28 kilograms. Plugging this value for mass into our equation E equals mc squared, E equals 5.18 times 10 to the negative 28 kilograms times the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second squared. We get a binding energy of 4.66 times 10 to the negative 11 kilograms meters squared per second squared, or 4.66 times 10 to the negative 11 joules. Since we calculated the mass defect for one atom, this is the binding energy for one atom. The binding energy for a mole of chlorine-17 atoms is 4.66 times 10 to the negative 11 joules times the number of atoms in a mole, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Therefore, the binding energy of a mole of chlorine-35 atoms is equal to 2.81 times 10 to the 13 joules.